All right, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Class of 2017 Student Athlete Recognition Night. I'd like to take a minute and thank uh, Wendy Hoppel, member of the uh, school committee, for attending tonight's event. The parents and family members that are here to support the student athletes. Uh, 
I will thank this organization a couple times throughout the night, but uh, I'd like to start off by thanking the Edmonton Green Wave Boosters and all of their members. They are the uh, sole sponsor for tonight's event, so they made all of this possible. Uh, so thank you very much to the members of Boosters. For the As Ms. Casey mentioned, tonight is a night where we honor you, the student athletes, for all that you have accomplished for over four years here at Abington High School. As you move on to college, the workforce, the military, or whatever you choose to do in life, hopefully you will look back on your time at Abington High School, and in particular, your participation in athletics fondly, and as you, as you distance yourselves from high school, hopefully you will appreciate the lessons that you learned while you were here. Some of them are easy and obvious, and others are difficult and challenging, but years from now, you will look back at them and appreciate how they molded you into the successful person that you will each become. Many of you will go on to college, and your athletic careers might get a little bit more impressive as you distance yourself. Two or three years from now, you may have played a little bit more, scored a little bit more, and done different things. Undoubtedly, at some point, during your college career, your mascot will come up. You'll be wearing a t-shirt, hanging around the dorm room, and somebody's going to ask you, what the heck is a green wave? <laughs> you will find yourself defending the green wave against a panther, a bulldog, a cardinal, a crusader, whatever it might be. And you're going to be sitting there thinking, what the heck do I say? Because what is a green wave? You'll quickly think to yourself, is it actually a wave of water. Well, Island Grove is often green, and perhaps that's where it came from. We've all heard the theory that a green wave is the great hills of shaking grass that we have. Some of you will think perhaps it's Coach Kelleher's hair because, well, he is that old. But ultimately, a green wave is unique. It's unlike any other mascot. And our green wave is even more unique. Because what a green wave is, is it's people. No, it really is people. As probably only one or two other people in this room know, the name green wave came from people. We had a semi-pro football team called the Strawberry Valley Boys, who were not a big fan of their name, I assume. <laughs> and the newspaper constantly referred to the green wave of defenders would stop the ball. The green wave of defenders and eventually, instead of calling themselves the Strawberry Valley Boys, the name Green Wave caught on. So you are in a unique position. When you think and you defend your mascot, you are your mascot. The Green Wave is Coach Casey, somebody who has dedicated themselves tirelessly her entire life to making athletics a life lesson for individuals. It's Coach Kel, his years that he has put in, his goofiness, it's Coach Paraxilis and his selflessness, his sacrifice, his working around the clock. It's Coach Samantha Thompson who volunteers her time to help out with the softball team for nothing in return except the joy of helping people out. It's Alex Freeman and the way that he works hard in football and was willing to try a new sport in wrestling. It's Ashley Roberts and the way that she makes everyone smile regardless of what she's doing. It's Josh Martin and the way he persevered through injuries and other challenges to be here. It's Cole McMahon and the way that he has shown up with class and dignity, the way he coaches youth in flag football. It's Jenny Warden and her humility and her ultra competitiveness, yet true sportsmanship. It's Caroline Valley, who was willing to translate to and allow other students to participate in athletics. Ultimately, the Green Wave is each one of you. You are the next generation of graduates from Abington High School, and you will carry with you the lessons that you have here. Tonight, we will honor and recognize many of the accomplishments, but they pale in comparison to what you will accomplish with the foundation that athletics has provided you. Tonight, individuals will be recognized, but it is the whole entire group and the entire class that we will honor. Now, just a couple quick reminders as we go through this. Uh, we will call individuals up. You can walk up these stairs. Uh, Miss Casey or someone else will present you with an award. You can then walk down here, and in front of the beautiful backdrop, Mr. Marquardt will take pictures. Now I think it's an appropriate time to extend our thanks and appreciation to Bill Marquardt. He's the man behind the camera.
Mr. Marquardt has volunteered his time every season to come out to games, home, away, in some terrible weather, um, to take some very impressive pictures and share all of them with you. Um, it has allowed us to publicize them in the newspaper to go alongside the stories. Um, so that's the man who does all of that. Um, so thank you very much on behalf of the student athletes. All right, so at this time, I'd like to get the awards program started. Uh, to help us out with the recognition of the first award, I'd like to invite uh, Steve McGuire, the president of the Abington Greenway Boosters Up. The Greenway Boosters is partnered with Snyder's Jewelers um, to provide each of our individual sport MVPs with a commemorative bracelet for the females and a commemorative watch for the male student athletes. On the back of each one, it is engraved with the sport in the year that you were an MVP. Um, so a special thank you to Snyder's Jewelers as we do that. First, I'd like to start with the boys soccer MVP who unfortunately could not be here tonight, Dylan Gately. The girls soccer and girls lacrosse MVP, Maggie Colley. Danielle Canico. The golf MVP, Nick Baxter. The fall cheerleading MVP, Marina Brennan. Josh Martin. The boys basketball MVP, Bryson Andrews. The girls basketball MVP, Jenny Warden. Thank you, Mr. Boyd. 
Squire and the Boosters, as well as Snyder's for the continued partnership. It is my honor now to present the best all-around male athlete. The class of 2017's best all-around male athlete is Josh Martin. Josh is a current two-sport athlete. He excelled on the football field and in basketball. What makes Josh's accomplishments even more impressive this year in particular was he played through an injury. He put off surgery in order to play with his teammates and experience his final senior year. Josh Martin is the class of 2017's best all-around male athlete. This year's best all-around female athlete is Maggie Colley. <laughs> Maggie's a three-sport athlete for the Lady Wave, playing for um, soccer, basketball, and girls lacrosse. I had the privilege of coaching her in two sports over two different years. Um, she's a great athlete and a great kid off the field. <laughs> So they nominated eight different individuals for this award, and then they voted, um, and there were two individual winners. So this award is awarded to the student athlete who personifies what it means to be a teammate, despite not always getting the recognition they deserve. To present this year's um, Ultimate Teammate Award, I would like to invite Student Athlete Advisory Council President Jenny Warden and member Alex Freeman. Grace Quinlan, 
Come on up, Grace. Greenway Pride Award. 
This is awarded for the student athletes who demonstrated the true qualities of a teammate and embraced adversities while maintaining a positive attitude throughout their high school career. There will be three recipients and we'll talk about each one as they come up. Miss Casey will begin. The first recipient is Ashley Roberts. I've had the privilege of coaching Ashley for the past four years. She's a great kid. She always has a smile on her face and she'll do anything to help the team. The team always is first. Ashley had great um, athletic accomplishments on the soccer field as well as the softball diamond and she'll continue uh, with her game on Friday. Congratulations, Ashley. Our next recipient is Matt Gallon. But throughout Matt's career, he continued to grow and mature as an athlete. His senior year, he became one of the leaders of the Unified Sports Program, and early on in his career, he was one of the advocates to help get this program started. He was often seen going down the halls, recruiting people to come to practice, and the energy and enthusiasm he brought to each practice and each game was admirable. One of this year's recipients for the Greenway Pride Award, Matt Gallon. to the parents who supported them 
many times, um, providing rides, and dealing with coaches whose practices went a little bit late. Thank you. In conclusion, tonight you've made, the backdrop is there if you'd like to take some pictures um, with some of your classmates um, or your family. I know Mr. Marquardt has said that he will be happy to stick around and take a couple pictures, or if you want to snap your own pictures. Thank you and best of luck.